Hey, Pussy No Pussy Net, new little video. Yep, I'm still alive and back. <laughs> I wanted to do a quick video to recapitulate what happened in the last year, how come I was away. Um, been focusing more on the personal life, uh, did a lot of trips, and um, wanted to get your opinion. Uh, channel, I know people join mostly for the first aid content that I did. I uh, kind of not stepping away but I, I'm doing a little bit less of that lately and um, wanted to get your opinion what would you like to see and anything um, I started to do more kayaking so the mountain RN is more like C, C RN now <laughs> if we can call it that but I wanted to uh, do a little PowerPoint of the latest trip last year uh, catch back and uh, like I said uh, leave in the comments what would you like to see uh, if you have any um, things that you would like me to focus if you would like to see some of my kayak trips uh, that I'll be doing uh, right now I'm more learning so I'm doing uh, courses and stuff but I'm looking at uh, I purchased a kayak and I'm looking at putting a um, uh, GoPro on it um, so um, yeah so uh, in the last year I did uh, two major trip uh, last summer uh, a lot of hikings uh, and the first one is as you can see here it's called the North Coast Trail no not the West Coast Trail the North Coast Trail not a lot of people know about this one but basically it's this green thing here that you see uh, going from Bull Arbor all the way up to jo uh, Joseph Bay uh, you start from where the blue point was uh, Port Hardy uh, and there's two ways you can get there uh, by um, a sea, uh, sea taxi so basically they bring you to the beginning where my uh, cursor is right now and then you walk all the way up here uh, and then you finish in this park here and then there's um, the sh shuttle that comes and brings you back um, it's not very known uh, so there's less people doing that one than um, the West Coast Trail which is good but they say basically it's what West Coast Trail used to be 25 years ago um, so that was me I flew to Port Hardy and then uh, those are some of the um, hiking uh, trips that I did mostly you walk on things like that like the beach because it's um, basically you're following the water uh, the waterway like the coast um, it's very uh, brutal some of the there's a lot of um, muds and some places there's even ropes that you need to climb up um, but beautiful views as you can see and this is where I kind of find out my love for the kayaking because I was like uh, with those views I'm like wouldn't it be easier to come down from the water instead of walking from the side and uh, so um, kind of got a call from from the water uh, I did it by myself but there was a lot of uh, people well there was some people not a lot but there was like uh, about 10 people that I met on the trail that kind of followed me uh, so uh, but mostly I've been by myself carrying everything uh, but again some of the uh, best view and then yeah you when you survive you finish at the end and uh, that was like the pack pack at, at the end when uh, they, it's um, they say it's 60 kilometer but somebody had a GPS and they say because you kind of go up and down it's way more than that but um, bird view is about 60 to 70 kilometer uh, walking uh, you can have like nice little nights like that uh, with the nice sunset uh, it's very short days when you finish uh, so you get a lot of time to uh, enjoy uh, the beach when it's beautiful and I got lucky I got uh, I did it in four or five days uh, and uh, I got uh, no rain at all blue sky the whole time so uh, and on the way back, uh, beautiful sunset uh, on the uh, Vancouver um, Island in the back. Uh, and uh, like I said, I started to do a little bit more kayaking. Uh, so that's what is a day trip that I did um, in the uh, Sunshine Coast, which I'll uh, talk a little bit. Some of the views that you can see. Uh, I don't know if you can spot from here, like those little uh, purple things. Those are... Um, uh, see um, stars 
fish that basically stay and this is why they're purple is because of the food that they take but yeah beautiful views that you can get on days uh, I did also a little road trip uh, that was me and uh, Tofino uh, there's this very famous uh, little place they started in a truck like this and now there's like a bunch of uh, restaurant here in Vancouver and they mostly sell like uh, tacos um, and burritos and they're very famous and so this was the first time I went to the actual uh, truck but I I'd been to the restaurant before so but again as you can see it was pretty wet it rained the whole trip that I uh, been on the coast uh, but beautiful views uh, to Fino for those that don't know about it um, it's well known for his surf uh, it's on the other side of Vancouver Island and there's a period of season I believe it's in the fall that people go there just to see the uh, storms um, because when they hit the uh, the coast like this there's there was beautiful um, views and pictures that you can take uh, I was there in September it was not the season yet but still uh, some beautiful views and uh, very rough sea as you can see um, then the next trip that I did is what we call the Vancouver coast and so as you can see here Vancouver and the green dots um, and you drive and what I did is this this thing here uh, on the top part here with Sartor, when it says Saltery Bay and basically it's another part of the uh, Sunshine Coast and basically it's a 180 kilometer walk uh, from uh, one point to the other uh, I did 106 kilometer of that one and this is what the side was looking at so when you uh, saw like the Saltery uh, Bay point that's the point over here and um, basically it's a bunch of huts that you have and this is a side profile of it and I started right at the left part and then walked my way all the way up to Saturday Bay again by myself carrying everything this time was a little bit less um, heavy because I was sleeping in huts so I didn't have to carry the tents and stuff but it was uh, six days of pure rain <laughs> pouring there's even like trails sometimes that had like almost mini rivers inside them um, and yeah like you see like it's up lots of ups and downs uh, but some beautiful uh, little uh, things is this is me at the beginning and uh, some of the views on while driving there so that the sun that's the sunshine coast uh, so, uh, on the across there that's the Vancouver Island so that island right over there and uh, that's me on the trail <laughs> and uh, this is the some of the views on the top but uh, it was very uh, that's about the only time that I was able to take pictures on the top because again for the six days it was purely pouring and place that I should have had some beautiful views I couldn't see anything uh, but that's about the only uh, window that I had to be able to take pictures so a lot of my pictures were just from that spot there because uh, that was the only place I could take some nice pictures uh, those some of those huts that's what it looks like it uh, so you got like little kitchens in the top and everything and then the sleeping spot on the top there um, and they have uh, some of them are what they uh, are winterized and they have like pellet stove so that was one of the day that finished early and I was able to uh, dry my stuff uh, like I said it was pretty wet so it was nice to be able to take a day off and to uh, dry some of the gear that I had like um, I was literally like swimming in my boots uh, in the morning I would put it and you could hear the switch of it <laughs> or even if I left it uh, uh, hanging in the morning there was like a pool of water coming out just from from the boots so it was nice to be able to spend a day of just like um, relaxing like this uh, some nice uh, sunset again from uh, now that that's the, the other trip um, that I had uh, before like sunshine, um, not the sunshine coast but the uh, other uh, on the North Coast Trail